Hello, hello, welcome back. Happy 2023, happy new year. It's my first vlog back. I'm starting it in the car. To those of you who are new, hi, my name is Nicole. Welcome to Z Chanel, to the vlogs. I am back at it. Anyway, today was my first day back at fashion design school and I want to vlog and I want to be like, oh, I had my whole aesthetic morning routine and everything, but I just didn't vlog it because I was just trying to focus. I had an exam first thing in the morning. Um, yes, I'm in a parking lot <laughs> and I started my vlog here. But anyway, um, I'm going to be doing my weekly vlog. We'll see how many days I get in, what I get up to. Today, however, we had um, a bit of a shorter one, which is going to be... Um, a rare occasion for the next couple of weeks. So I'm making the most of it. I'm starting my vlog right now and um, where there's light and I am going to treat myself to a little chai latte um, initially because I thought one of my books that I ordered from Talia arrived today. I was mistaken. That's tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to pick that up tomorrow. But either way, we're here. I still got to get some like work bits done and um i thought i'd do that in the coffee shop take you along with me see how it goes um but yeah i'm feeling great i'm feeling motivated um yeah i'm feeling cute today i did my makeup and everything um i pulled a little nice outfit on got my favorite knee high boots <laughs> and yeah i've really got not much to say aside from welcome hope everything's gone well hope you have good health and hope you are as excited as i am for the new things to come up this year. Um, not gonna lie there, we had a few days where I was just like lost in the limbo. So if you feel like that, well, maybe this vlog helps you a little bit. Just, you know, we're living life. So these are my next couple of days, day in life, see what I get up to. I need to go get my coffee. So I'm gonna take you down from here. <laughs> Um, let me show you the fit of the day. This is the little outfit of the day. I mean, excuse the jacket, but I had to put something on. I had to throw something on, but we've got a little asymmetrical mini tights, knee high boots. I'm gonna fall off my cute little jumper. <laughs> I got into the car the battery just died so I had to switch it and I've had to run to a petrol station so we're gonna get some petrol right now um but yeah I just wanted to let you know little car ride little pit stop before I make it home still got like 20 minutes to go um but yeah we move on onwards and upwards <laughs> just risen. I feel so puffy eyed. Um, but I wanted to say good morning. Otherwise I won't. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you like my little kind of like morning routine-ish. Not really. It's not aesthetic. 
aesthetically filmed in any kind of way right now, but just wanted to say good morning. Um, I'm severely overexposed. <laughs> Give me a second. There we go. Just wanted to just show you. Um, I have my little, like, it's like my daily routine. I get up, um, and I go to the bathroom. I run to the bathroom. <laughs> have a sleep and then the first thing I do is drink this so it's like the first thing that hits my stomach after I wake up and it's basically just like a bunch of superfood greens it's like spirulina, chlorella, maca, guarana for like energy and um, I think it also has wheatgrass I don't know what else it has um, but it's just like this powder and I've been taking it every single morning um, since I don't know. I had a very long time I forgot about it and I refound it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, there it is. So that's my little morning routine. I'm gonna finish my drink, read a little bit, do my other part, which is like my morning routine of like journaling and like reading like an affirmation. Um to start off the day in a positive sense and like being grateful and just you know always trying to be like, the kindest version of myself, the best version of myself that I can be, still being human, if that makes any sense. But yeah, generally, like, I like to wake up before the sun rises to feel productive. It's literally just to feel productive, even though I could get nothing done. It just makes me feel good. It feels kind of like as if I beat the sun. So, yeah, um, like I said, I like to start off with, like, like my little five minute journal it's just like the morning one i have another one where i wrote, write down all of like my thoughts and my feelings and how it's going in life and like it's kind of like an, a life audit journal like i always say like how can i improve what are these feelings like what am i going through and like how can i what can i do to make it make myself feel better and improve as a human being in general um but yeah <clears throat> this is literally just like a morning thing I can even show you the blank pages I got it in Primark I don't know how long ago but you can find these everywhere um I'm sure you can have a phone but the one that I do like to show you is this one this book right here let me show you right so this is my book that I'm reading right now but basically there we go okay so yeah, basically it has like a morning meditation and it's just amazing to see like how sometimes you really do need to hear these things and um, I usually like to read it once in the morning and once in the evening because by, by like the middle of the day usually I've forgotten most of what it says and I'm not even going to lie to you. But here we go, today's the 15th of January. I'll read it with my croaky voice. <laughs> Enjoy. You're free to follow your heart. No one has taken your freedom away. You may have relinquished it for reasons known and unknown, but you've always been free, free to choose. And you have been choosing, whether or not you have been conscious of your choices. For many years, you chose not to be free. And then you felt stifled, so grousled and rebelled. That was an important part of your journey. It helped you break out of your prison, loosen the chains around you. Now you see the truth. You have always been free. Celebrate the breaking of chains. <laughs> that kind of gives me like, it gives me, this part gives me kind of like Game of Thrones vibe. Celebrate the breaking of chains. Celebrate your freedom. And share it joyfully with others. Tell yourself, tell others too that you're free to trust and follow your own heart. Well, that's so sweet. This kind of like feels like Game of Thrones, the break of chains kind of thing. <laughs> but just for sake of it let me read yesterday's for you because it isn't just about like following your heart or like maybe this could be taken like in a love sense um but i take everything like a personal like self thing like i choose me to love me kind of thing because yeah <laughs> and um yeah okay so release your fears the royal george bridge in colorado is one of the world's highest suspension bridge Visiting it was a significant part of my journey, an important turning point. Spanning a section of the Grand Canyon of the Arkansas River, the bridge is constructed of small wooden slats. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> you can drive across or you can walk it, peering down the slats to see the river 
1,050 feet below. When I reached the park surrounding the bridge, I parked my car, grabbed my backpack, and got out to walk across the bridge. I neared the bridge, then turned around. I was too afraid to walk across, certain I'd blow off. I decided to drive. I returned to the jeep, drove to the bridge, but stopped again. I backed up, drove back to the toll booth, and hailed the man working inside. Will I be fine? I said. He looked at me strangely. Will I be fine? I repeated. He finally got it. You'll be fine, he said with a smile. I drove back to the bridge. Inch by inch, I drove the car across the wooden slats. I was afraid to look to the right or left. Afraid to look down. Afraid to look. Afraid not to look. I never knew how much fear was in me until I drove across that bridge. And to get back, I had to turn the jeep around and drive across the bridge once more. Sometimes we're so afraid, we don't know how afraid we are. Sometimes we carry so much fear that interferes with our ability to enjoy life. Feel and release your fears. See how needless they are. See how they keep you from enjoying life. Unclench your hands. Don't always look straight ahead. Experience adventure. Let yourself live. As the man said, you'll be fine. So to whoever is like scared to do something, scared that they won't be fine and everything seems too overwhelming, this could have really helped. But yeah, like I said, I like to read this um, every morning and evening to like when I reflect about my day. Um, but yeah, I, I ordered this personally from Talia. It took ages to come because I had to ship it all the way from the US. You can even see like my name here on the back of it. Um, because I did see one of my wellness influencers that I follow, um, Sophia Kelly, she had it and she posted it quite frequently and I was just really curious about it because sometimes I find some of these books are a bit, mm, I don't know, but I quite like it because it has, um, I don't know, quite heartwarming things that make me look at things in a more positive sense. So I really enjoy reading this. Obviously, like, I do this routine when I give myself the time to do it. Sometimes I wake up too late and I like oversleep and I have to just rush and get out the window, which I don't like starting my way like that. I like starting my day slow and intentional. And um, that's what I'm saying realistically. Like I, it, this is when I give myself the time to do this and ideally is every single morning, which would mean like I would have to wake up at four so I could have like my time to do all of these things peacefully without rushing because I don't like rushing there's no need to rush in life <sighs> at the end of the day the 24 hours ahead of you are still in there whether you are going to be happy, rushed, patient scared angry, sad however you may be feeling they're still gonna happen and you feeling however you feel is just gonna be like a side thing it's not the most important it's not what the world revolves around if this makes any sense I don't know if this makes any sense but basically what I'm trying to say is that no matter what the day's still gonna be like it's gonna lie ahead you might as well take it in the best way possible and whatever makes you feel good use those things lean into those things take it slowly sometimes people ask me like why do you up so early like it's I mean sure I need to leave the house at 6 30 maybe a little bit earlier anywhere between 6 and 6 30 in the mornings during the week and sometimes people ask me like why do you wake up so early I could wake up like at 6 and leave at 6 30 yeah it's possible when I'm rushing and I run late and I barely get any of like my happy feel-good habits done and I skip all of those and I just wake up roll out of bed get dressed, brush my teeth, and leave. But I don't like doing that. So, that's the reason behind it. That's why I wake up at four. Because it's the time I give to myself to prepare for the day, so I look at things, and I handle things in the most positive viewpoint, personally. Because when I start my day off intentionally, it's completely different. I tend to be hectic and rush around and like stress and I don't like that feeling. I'm choosing to like 
live a little bit slower live a little bit more calmly live intentionally choose the people who are in my life who make me happy i always assess like what's making me feel good what's making me feel bad how certain things or certain moments uh, made me feel and over the course of time whilst doing that i realized that one of the biggest influencing factors was the fact that i was rushing around in the mornings and i started my day off very hectically and i felt like I was always trying to keep up and I wasn't prepared for the day and that being said this is kind of how like I prepare myself to the day and give myself the time to just be and do the things I love so not only would I just I mean right now I'm rambling because it's a Sunday and I can do this um to be fair I shouldn't because I have so much to do but I haven't vlogged and I really want to have a chat some of you might need to hear this some of you might not but Welcome to my vlogs. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I tend to get chatty, I tend to ramble, I tend to do those kind of things. That's just part of who I am. The friends that know me know that I send like podcast long episodes of voice notes of what's going on in my head and like letting them through the ins and outs of it. And I'm forever grateful <laughs> for the fact that they listen through all of it. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we are of a rambler here we like to chat here um anyway either way all in all what i wanted to say is that this is the kind of thing that i like to do in the mornings i like to wake up have my little routine drink my green superfood um have my little breakfast and hot drink specifically a hot drink afterwards because it makes me feel like happy and grateful and warm um regardless if it's a hot day like i really love having tea <laughs> so i'm most likely having tea in the morning and yeah i just journal and read and then i start to get ready for the day i go and brush my teeth wash my face do my skin Hair. I also um, do my hair and my makeup and put a nice little outfit on, grab my things, add the last few bits of lunch and then leave and all of that is like patiently and intentionally done over the course of two hours, two and a half hours if I wake up earlier. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Right, so I've treated myself to um, a croissant, a croissant, <laughs> a croissant, <laughs> um, a croissant with um, chocolate and biscoff, <laughs> well, Nutella and biscoff to be specific. I've treated myself to one with a gigantic bucket of tea, which makes my soul so happy yes i've got my halloween mugs but look at that perfect tea i am so happy like this is like a sunday kind of treat that i'm just like oh my god and i'm currently listening to a discovery of witches um season two soundtrack and i'm obsessed i want to watch the second season i've listened to the soundtrack because it's just i think the second season soundtrack was the best but um I have not watched the second one because I do want to read the book first and I just, I really want to watch it. I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to watch it before I read the book. Because I had already started it, but yeah. I've just spent the entire morning reading, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's like 11, it's nearly midday. But um, I read a solid chunk of these two. Um, or mostly normal people, I read a few pages of that one. Then I read a bit of The Witcher. Um, and I was just like, I started to get super cozy and relaxed that I was just like, I started to like doze off and I was like, nope, you're getting up and you're getting some sugar and some snacks. Oh, I love a hot cup of tea, especially English tea. 
it makes my soul too happy. This angle is just ravishing, stunning. Good morning. Oh my god, I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm gonna try to figure out time slots and when I'm gonna be taking breaks because otherwise I get very overwhelmed and the idea of starting to study seems daunting. However, it must get done. I love studying to like have a little bit of an aesthetic little romanticized study moment so I actually feel like studying, like making my area look pretty and like cozy and shit. So I'm gonna try to do that. Now, taste test for the croissant because this camera angle is honestly just plain, just outrageous, straight up outrageous. So, we'll have a bit of the biscoff. Mm -hmm. Fresh croissant. It could have a bit more biscoff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now for the Nutella. You can never go wrong with a croissant and Nutella. Look at that. Mm hmm. My cat always seems like he says, Mama. Like, Mum. Like, Mama. I honestly don't know how. Mm hmm. It's just a croissant. Chocolate croissant with a tea. Can never go wrong. I don't know how I allow myself. <laughs> like, where did the carelessness come from for me to just be like this and put it on YouTube. I honestly don't give a fuck because this is me and I love me and I'm not trying to depict a fake reality here. <laughs> this is what it is. Um, what you get is what you get. Like this is what it is. <laughs> but I just I realized I look like a complete like egg here like from this angle with like just my hair flapping about. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where this carelessness comes from, but hmm. cheers, cheers. Enjoy your cuppa. I <laughs> hope you're having a fabulous day. I've got, I've just realized I've got to do laundry today. I've got to fit, fit in some kind of tidying spritz at some point and just whiz through the room, get, give it a quick hoover and something. I just completely forgot that. And I've just been chilling here in bed for a few hours. Could have done that. Well, actually, no, everyone's still sleeping. My mom's only just woken up. <laughs> Gonna open up for a spot of fresh air. Beautiful day, at least in my eyes. Love the rain. It's gonna be chilly and it's gonna be, ooh, that's fresh. So I'm gonna have that with my cup of tea right now. Can you see my breath? <sighs> you can see it, it's chilly. Um, it's like a perfect January day for me. I love it when it's like this, but at the same time, the temperature is really gonna drop and it's supposed to snow on Wednesday. Don't know how much, don't know for how long, but apparently it's gonna be snowy. So, cheers to a snowy January. And also, I just don't want it to be flipping, freezing and windy, like wet, windy, and just very much into the negatives is just not my vibe that is too cold if you ask me so i'm going to take this down a little bit because that's a bit of a breeze we got going on i just wanted to freshen up the room a bit because yeah <laughs> and now i'm going to have my cuppa and um figure out the scheduling and try to effectively and efficiently um, prioritize tasks, time. I've had my slow morning, I feel great. Like my Sunday slow morning, I feel like rested and so much better because yesterday evening I was feeling so anxious. I spent the whole day just doing like cute little like aesthetic, um, like a collage, like a mood board for others um, as thank you cards. So that's what you would have seen yesterday in the little time lapse. 
however um and i also did my vision board oh i could show you that in a minute once my laptop turns in because it was completely dead um yeah i did my vision board and i put it as my wallpaper you might have seen it when i was editing but yeah um that's all i did really and just read and like cozy up and like journal and meditate and like did a lot because i was so anxious yesterday and i couldn't really pinpoint about what but i just was so yeah glad that i did all the activities that make me feel me and like happy and safe like even though i was feeling it like i was really was feeling it and after doing all of that i feel great now and my snow morning slow snow slow morning routine just made it that much better i know i could have used the time a little bit more wiser and worked my way through other stuff for school but honestly i know that when i try to work through like when i work when i'm having those emotions and i'm super anxious i get nothing done i just feel even more frustrated i get even more anxious and then there will probably be a breakdown happening and i will be on like i would be in tears and um and i don't like that so i like to take care of myself and like i, I know my limits and i know the possible consequences but i am happier to choose to take care of myself than force my myself through something uncomfortable just for the sake of doing it instead of doing it well happily gladly and properly because i know i can do it so yeah just for the sake of productivity in my eyes that would be like toxic productivity to just get it done because you need to get it done whilst you're feeling horrible like horrible and horrifyingly anxious so that's what i did yesterday in case you're curious i never really mentioned it because i was that anxious when i'm super anxious i don't speak in the vlogs and i tend to do a bit of like time lapse -y sections um not all the time i don't get as anxious anymore but when i do have those days i do kind of like want it to be known because i'm not here to hide anything and if it makes anyone feel less alone if it makes anyone feel like happy to see that that you can get through it regardless of how shitty you are feeling in that moment and then feel happy and grateful and great the next day because it is possible you just got to sit down and do the things that make you feel good even though whilst you're doing it you're gonna be extremely anxious and you're gonna be like shaky and you just need to go, go through it so it's fine it'll all be fine at the end of the day you know you're gonna be happy grateful and um you're gonna be fine so if you know that in the future at some point you'll get there it's kind of like trusting blindly and trusting yourself that you can get yourself there and i feel like that's the most comforting idea um so yeah um that's all i wanted to really say so in true youtuber fashion i never ended this vlog and it's on the day excuse the appearance i have not done anything i've just been editing in bed but it's on the day that i'm uploading this and i'm just doing this little outro because it just it would end on a weird note so in true youtube nature i'm ending the vlog today i really hope you enjoyed that if you stayed till the very end please leave me like like a heart emoji with like flames or something i don't know something like that so i know that you like watched it till the end like you and i will both know and that'd be really cool to see how many people actually like watch it to the end of my rambles and podcasts um, <laughs> thank you for coming to my ted talk but yeah if you made it all the way back here thank you so much for watching <laughs> my vlogs my thoughts and things i truly appreciate that um i am literally just finishing up uploading well editing this video so i could upload it today i'm on that little corner like i just it would end on such a weird note of what you've just seen so <laughs> that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna just smack this little clip inside and just finish this video because what <laughs> i'm sorry anyway stay tuned for the next one if you're interested on more like aesthetic -y stuff and seeing what my actual morning routine looks like and like my hair care routine or something like that then Go to the link in the description box. That's my main channel. You're on my vlogging channel right now. I'd really appreciate it if you checked my main channel out. Um, I've had it for a longer time. And I'd I'm, I'm about to, like, you know, start re-uploading again. So, I'm very excited. I'd highly appreciate it if you did that. And if you do, thank you so much. I hope you have a fantabulous day. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next vlog. We have a lot more incoming. Snowy days. Cozy. Cozy. Cozy vlogs. Drives just fun stuff fashion design things i've got stuff planned so stay tuned stay tuned we've got lots to get going so till the next time bye bye